This piece that I wrote is Rain. This is a song that I just wrote when I was 14 and I just performed by you. The story is about, I remember looking out through the window and watching the rain pouring harder, hitting the window pan outside of my bedroom window. For a while, I stood up, watched, and listened to the frightening scene unfolding outside. It was then the song came to me. It is a peaceful reminder that no matter how far challenges in life could be, the rain will stop and the sun will come out. It is a reminder that when the rain stops, the flowers will bloom. Hi, my name is Jason Kay, and I am a self-taught jazz musician. I started playing the piano at around nine or 10, when I found a collection of old jazz records by the greats like Miles Davis, Michael Buble, Herbie Hancock, Take Six. From there, I started to play by ear on a piano that my mom had bought me, and that's how I started to grow from it. To look at me, you would not immediately see anything different with me. I was diagnosed with autism when I was two years old. The doctors who diagnosed me told my mom that I wouldn't amount to much as I grew older. You do not have to be diagnosed with autism to, not, to understand the pain of being underestimated and not given a second glance. Rejection is one of the many challenges any human being faces. It is much more painful when you are unable to articulate yourself in words like everybody else. Yeah. That was my world that I lived for many years. As a young child, I became very, very easily frustrated because I couldn't even find any words or you know, some words to you know, describe or share my thoughts. Now, imagine someone with their hand over your mouth as they try to find the right words to explain the wants and their needs. Now imagine someone else speaking on your behalf and getting it all wrong. That was my world, or that was the world that I lived for a long time until I found the world of music. My world was cracked wide open when I found music. Suddenly, I could relate to the lyrics of the rejection of the songs that I listened to, plus the stories. Suddenly, I could understand other people's pain and the soulful cries of their musicians they played. Suddenly, I could share my own stories as well. I come with you all to a message and a simple one of that, it is this. Autism is not a death sentence. Are all individuals on the autism spectrum the same? The answer is resounding no. Although we may have a number of differences, which include those of us who are vocal and those of us who are not. Those of us who are bothered by the textures of food, and those who are. So, the common denominator between us all is the, is the need to be included and accepted in our society. 
Scientists have shown that, all, that some individuals on the autism spectrum have a lot more to offer its community in more ways than one, if not more. I stand here today as a proof that we all can bring joy to a world filled with pain through music. I came here, and I stand here today with an idea worth spreading. I stand here with a clarion call to a society that may be defeated about living with individuals on the autism spectrum. So as I shared before, music is a means of communication, and it's the easiest way to share my thoughts. The most important thing in my life is that everything I have done thus far has been because most of my peers in my vi village have encouraged me to reach for the stars. If it were not for a mother who decided that her child will amount to do something or amount to something, I would not be standing here today. If it weren't for my family, my friends, and my therapists, I would not be standing on this stage today. I am living proof that autism is not a death sentence. Thank you.